Sometimes I think that the people in this institution and in the White House are really losing contact and not knowing what's going on with the American people. In case you don't know, and you haven't seen the latest polls, the American people hold the President of the United States in contempt. They hold this institution in contempt. They hold the Republican Party in contempt. They hold the Democratic Party in contempt. They think that maybe, given all of the crises facing this country, it's about time that there was some bold leadership here and that this institution made some hard choices. And this is what the choice is about. We are spending $270 billion a year on the military, but we don't have a major enemy. I know it hurts your feelings. I know you're upset about it. I know you're hoping and praying that maybe we'll have another war. Maybe somebody will rise up, but it ain't happening. Who are you worried about? Iraq? Panama? Who are you worried about? I'll tell you who I'm worried about. I'm worried about the fact that our workers are seeing a decline in their standard of living. They want to see our industry be rebuilt. That's what they want to see. No more B-2 bombers, no more Star Wars. Let's make the quality products we need. Let's invest in American industry. The Amer no, I won't yield. The American people want to see our kids educated. They want a Head Start program. They want their kids to be able to go to college. They want to wipe out the fact that five million children in this country go to bed hungry. They want child care for their kids. They want decent education. Let's have the guts to give some leadership to this country. The Cold War's over. Let's reinvest in America. Let's support this amendment. Thank Time of the gentleman's expired.